Hi everyone and welcome to this video where we are going to cover what you need, right? The top things you need to, in order to get started with crypto trading and also of course what to avoid the do's and don'ts. There's absolutely a few crucial things you need to make sure when you start your crypto trading journey. Number one, you need to make sure you have an exchange. Obviously you need to have a place to buy and sell. And what's really important here is, this is where most people go wrong by the way, they actually get into an exchange that is not regular that promise how huge returns and God forbid they actually trade on your beha behalf or they have a crypto robot. So they sign up to a program and they go to the exchange so-called and then someone trades for them and it all proves to be a scam and 99% of the times they lose money. Write this down if you haven't, take it in your own hands. When you use an exchange, use the biggest ones, you can Google it. But to give you some examples, we're using Coinbase, we're using Binance, Huobi, Qcoin, Bitrex, FTX is another one, but if there are some that are not regulated, it could be calling, they could call, you know, Forex, FX, or I don't know, right? I don't want to mention any names because I, I don't want to put any, anything in it, but always make sure you Google, for example, the name Coinbase. Is it a scam? And also make sure they're regulated. At least it is the biggest one on the planet, which is the case with Coinbase, which is the case with Binance. So go with the biggest ones. The second thing you need is to have education. So more, much like you, if you're going to drive, yeah, you can buy a car, right? You can get an exchange, you can buy a car. But if you buy a car, that's a vehicle, that's cryptos. But if you don't learn how to actually drive the car, what is going to happen? Let me ask you this. If you go into a car, you have no clue what to do, you haven't taken any lessons, what will happen? Oh, then the car is dangerous. Would you let your kids, your family, your friends do that? if you knew they couldn't drive? The answer is probably no. And we usually ask this question as well, would you, would you let someone operate on your child or anyone that is close to you without being a doctor? Yeah, you know, I would absolutely do that. No, absolutely not, right? You wanna make sure they have experience. They've done this before. You wanna make sure they have the education to be able to give you what you need. If that is treatments, if that is learning how to drive like a driver's license, you wanna know they know what they're talking about. So the same here, don't go into the market without having the proper education. Learn how to do it from someone like Investment Mastery has done it for 20 years. I think we've been educating for, for 16 years or so. I can tell you this, before I had education, lost 70% of my account. After education, I'm making over 60% a year. That's with stocks. And I'm more than 10 x my account with cryptos, which you can watch in other videos right, where, where I share my portfolio, I share my trading. We're very transparent with what we're doing. So make sure you look at that, but overall, even though you're going with investment mastery or not, make sure you get an education and know what you're doing before you're doing it. Number three, make sure you use a strategy. And there's two steps to this, because when you have a strategy that tells you when to buy, how much money you should be risking and allocating, when to sell with a profit, when to sell with a loss, so you know exactly what to do before you actually do it. We use strategies such as breakout trading, the contrarian momentum. We use the buffalo strategy for stocks. And, um, and, and make sure you have one that is proven, that has worked for over two years. If someone teaches you a strategy, make sure you ask them that. How long has this been working? Can I see the track record? If they can't say yes, then don't do it, right? Because you wanna make sure they have the track record for it. But the first thing you need to do when you have a strategy is obviously not to go live because you might make mistakes. You wanna make sure you do it on a demo account first. And you can have demo accounts Robomarkets, eToro, a BitMart on Bybit, not Binance. I think actually you can do it on Binance even to practice your trading. I think it's called Binance Lite. So make sure you do that. Start on a demo account. Try your way without risking any money. So it's like playing monopolies with fake money, but you learn how to do it, which is amazing. So make sure you do that first. When you've done that for three months, oh, I don't have three months, Dennis. I want to be rich tomorrow. Great. That's why most people lose money, by the way. So make sure you get it education three months down the line when you try the demo you're really comfortable with the strategy boom then it's time to go live then you can go live and start with a small amount and in this strategy I told you about as well make sure right make 
sure that you always use a stop loss when you're trading cryptos and always risk 1% of your account, okay? So make sure you have the strategy, demo three months later live, right? That's what we would do. There's no advice here, that's what I would do. You do you, do you. but uh, th those are some learnings that I had along the way that I would love to be able to pass on to you as well. And then the next one and the last one I want to mention because that's how important it is, is to make sure that you manage your risk and to not use leverage in the beginning, those two. So risk 1%, but the second one is leverage. Most people go in and they do 100 times leverage, don't do that. It means that you're borrowing money, which means you can make a lot more. If you have a thousand, yeah, if you have a hundred times leverage, you then have the investing and trading power of a hundred thousand. Most people abuse that, so they risk too much. So make sure you only risk 1% of your money, not the money you borrow. But if you have a thousand, you risk 1% of that thousand, which is then there's no reason for you to use leverage because you pay quite a bit of fees for it. So no leverage or margin when you're starting. You can write that down as as well is what I would do but then as you learn how to do this you learn how to manage your risk then you can add it to really accelerate the growth of your portfolio but investing in trading with cryptos is nothing you do overnight I've been doing this for six years now and uh, I'm gonna do this for the rest of my life but since I the first two years where I lost 70 percent I tried to rush it I tried to make sure I made as much as possible overnight really works. So build wealth over time and cash flow over times, which you can speed up by getting an education as well, which is exactly what I did. So I hope you enjoyed this video and comment below. Are you trading today and do you have an education? I would love to know. So make sure you comment that below. And if you enjoy this kind of content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I cannot wait to share more with you in regards of this as well. And not only that, make sure you like the video. Give me a like if you enjoy this content. And also press that alarm bell so you get those notifications. And with that being said, I cannot wait to see you in the next video.